Okay, let us see how to dismantle the fixing assembly. There are two locks in order to remove the cable. Just uh, release the locks and make sure your cable is free. And the other side, uh, there are three clips which we need to unplug so that the protection cover, the plastic cover can be removed. So easily the terminals can be accessed. So as per the clip, I have taken out uh, the black protective cover yeah like this then in this terminal area you could find a screw that is uh, you need to remove and make sure there is a flag and sensor which has to be taken care you could see now so make sure it doesn't get break otherwise uh, we will have an issue so remove the screw and uh, take off uh, this cover as well this is another side so now I have removed the cover and uh, with the cables so once the cover is removed then easily we can take off the terminals from the cover so the cover can be taken out completely from the main unit so this cover has a sensor so please be careful about it so then we are we have to remove the guide by sliding towards right and take it off this is a paper guide uh, which is which is been the fixing assembly so now i have removed it and this is a procedure uh, for dismantling the fixing assembly and there are four, four screws mounted on top of uh, the assembly uh, unscrew all four of them while removing you will you could feel that pressure because the spring tension which may give uh, pressure to your screws so even when you unscrew or screwing make sure it is in right position and the spring has uh, on particular tension so now i removed all the four screws gently open the top cover that is the we can separate this cover into this unit into two pieces now i have opened the unit like this so this is a cover which can be opened uh, by opening the four screws out so now let's see how to access the fixing flame assembly because our intention to change the fixing flame assembly as a unit so once we remove once you open the cover it is easily available uh, gently pull out the fixing assembly by removing the cable from its slot and also it will have the bushing support so carefully remove the bush from the respective uh, places and now I have taken out so this unit can be replaced as a complete item as a one item then followed by fixing flame assembly we have a pressure roller uh, you could see yeah this is a pressure roller so sometimes you may need to replace so for that you'll have to remove the latches remove the side bushes from it respective assembly and as soon as the assembly the bushes removed and easily it can be accessed uh, it can be taken out so normally it will have a good life it doesn't have to replace very frequent but when the time comes or if any physical damage which happened unexpectedly then you have to remove and replace it with a fixing assembly as well as the pressure roller so now we have removed everything this is just a frame so this is how we have to dismantle the fixing assembly